Hi everyone, this is going to be a short video on using Flask and IIS. Um, there is a Git repository that if you want to use this to follow along, you're more than welcome to and it will make it a little easier. Um, so the first step if you're using the repository is just to clone it to your, um, I'll remove this for the video actually, yeah, um, is to clone the repository in your WW root. And you're gonna need a, um, a command prompt in uh, an administrator mode. Yeah, that's the word. So run as administrator. Yes. Yeah, and let's go here. Netpub ww root. All right, and then now we need to clone the Git repository. So close all these other windows. Got it. This is going to use um, WFast CGI to run it. Awesome. All right, the next step is to. Um, Make sure that Python is installed in your root directory, the C directory. Uh, I've, it can be finicky if it's installed in a user directory and IIS tries to access that on run. You don't want that. You just want it to be in the C drive somewhere. Um, I have a couple of versions here, but um, yeah. The next step after that will be to enable CGI for um, IIS. So search. For Windows features, add and remove feature. Actually, let's do feature. Yeah, turn Windows features on or off. Information services, World Wide Web services, application. And just make sure the CGI is checked here. After that, you want to pip install WFAST CGI. Um, since I already have it installed, it won't do that. And then I have to disable it. Uh, and then I'll enable it when it comes to that step so it'll make sense. Yeah. So um, after that, let's go ahead and create an application in IIS. So add website, flask, contents directory, C drive, Pub. And this was from the example beginning in the beginning. And we want to make sure that this has the appropriate file permissions. Uh oh. Uh oh, I said it. Oh, one second. Basic settings, yeah. That was weird. I got confused there for a second. Anyway, so um, after you do that, we want to make sure that we have that the user, the IIS user, can actually um, write to the logs and read the files that we want. So properties, security, um, you can just check too. So IIS users, you can see that it doesn't have modify read or write. And since we want to have logs, we want to allow it to write. And if we don't do this, it'll it'll get angry at us. So modify and that should change, right? Yep. Okay. Um, and then the web.config. So we have to do two things with this and, um, and you're going to need to open this in administrator as well. So if this route is different for you, which it probably will be, you need to path this to where your Python files are. So in this case for us, I believe it's just Flask IIS. And if you're not using the Git repo, this is the first part is the name of the file with the WSGI object, WSGI object. 
um, and this is the name of the whiskey object. So in my my app.py, I have app. And so this is how the application gets that. And oh, uh oh. And the next part we have to do is alter the script processor. So for that, we're gonna need a CMD in um, administrator mode again, and then wfast CGI enable. And this path, I can't, this path right here needs to be the script processor path. Oh, and it should be the same for me already, but it could be very different for y'all. Uh, so in a good test to see if this is working as intended, is just to copy and paste it into a command prompt. And if it works, then you're, you should be good to go. Paste C done. Yep. Okay, cool. So the next step after that is, let me read. Yeah, configure the rib.config. So if we did this right, this should work. Um, and once, oh, administrator mode. back please I don't know why I did that okay save got it um to make sure you have IIS like successfully installed on, or you have the IIS using CGI, go to application or the root up here, and there should be WFast CGI settings. And this is driven by the config we just put in the uh, Flask. So unless I forgot anything, this should work, or it'll give us an error message. Yeah. So this is the output. And then if we go to my app, see so I have a hello endpoint, slash hello, awesome. So let me know if you all have any questions in the comments. I'll be around to answer things. Um, and yeah, have a good day.